Good day, ma'am. Good day, future RNs. Today, we are here to present to you the topic that has been assigned to us, which is all about Lydia E. Hall and her nursing theory, the core, care, and cure model. We are from the second group. I am Sherwin Kal Ardimakutak, the leader of this group. And together with my group members... Hi, my name is Farhana Biotak. I'll be the one to discuss to you the nursing theory and theories of Lydia Hall. Hi everyone, my name is Rasul G. Pasundalan and I will be the one to discuss to you the meta paradigm of the major concept of Lady Hall Care Core Cure Nursing Theory and each definitions include. Hi, my name is Mara Asandad. I'll be the one to discuss to you the concept and definition of Lydia Hall Care, Cure and Core Nursing Theory. And I'll be the one to talk to you about the strengths and weaknesses as well as the summary of the theory. So, let's get started. So for today, we're going to tackle about Lydia Hall's nursing theory. But before that, let's have a brief background first of who is Lydia Hall. Lydia Hall was born in New York City on September 21, 1906. She received her basic nursing education at New York Hospital School of Nursing in New York, Pennsylvania on 1927. She earned her Bachelor in Public Health Nursing in 1937 and Master's in Teaching Natural Science in 1942. She was the first director of Loeb Center of Nursing and Rehabilitation and held that position until her death in 1969. Her experiences in nursing include in clinical nursing, nursing education, research, and supervisory role. Her greatest achievement was the whole designed and developed Center for Nursing at Montefiore Hospital in New York City. And Hall served as Administrative Director of the Loeb Center for Nursing. One of her awards includes in 1967, Achievement in Nursing Practice from Columbia University, she received for the award. These are the following how Lydia Hall described her major concept or meta paradigm to her theory. First, to describe individual or person, she said that the individual human who is 16 years of age or older and past the acute stage of long-term illness it is focused on her work. The source of energy and motivation for her healing is the individual care receipts and not for a healthcare provider. And she also emphasized the importance of individuals as a unique, capable growth and learning and required the total person's approach. And for describing for her health, health can infer at a state of self-awareness with conscious selections of optimal behavior for that individual. And she also stressed that person need to explore her meaning of her behavior to identify and overcome problems through developing self-identity and maturity. And for society and environment, except it deals with concerning the individual. She credited to develop loop center concept because she assumed that the hospital environment during treatment of acute illness creates difficult psychological environment to illness of individual. When we say loop center, it is focused on providing environment to conduct self-development. Example of setting is the focus of nursing actions as the individual. Any actions taken concerning concerning society and environment assist the individual in attaining personal goal. And last but not the least is the she identified a nursing at a participating in the care, core, and cure aspect of patient care. According to Nurses Lab, Lydia Hall used her knowledge of psychiatry and nursing experiences in the Loeb Center to formulate her theory, also known as the Thesis of Lydia Hall. It contains three independent but interconnected circles. 
the core, the care, and the cure. The care. According to the theory, nurses are focused on performing the noble task of nurturing patients. The cycle solely represents the role of nurses and is focused on performing the, the task of nurturing the patients. Nurturing involves using the factors that make up the, con the concept of mothering, care and comfort of the person, and provide for teaching learning activities. The care silker defined as the prof professional nurse's primary role, such as providing bodily care for the patient and helping the patient complete such basic daily biological function as eating, bathing, elimination, and dressing. When providing this care, the nurse's goal is the comfort of the patient. The core, according to Hall's theory, is the patient. Receiving nursing care, the core has goals set by him or herself rather than by any other person and behaves according to their feelings and values. This involves the therapeutic use of self and is shared with other members of the health team. This area emphasizes the patient's social, emotional, spiritual, and intellectual needs concerning family, institution, community, and the world. This can help the patient verbally express feelings regarding the disease process and its effects by using the reflective technique. Through such expression, the patient can gain self-identity and further develop, develop maturity. As explains in this theory, the cure is nursing, which involves the administration of medication and treatments. Hall explains in the model that the nurse shares the cure circle with other health professionals such as physician or physical therapists. In short, these are the inventions or actions geared toward treating the patient for whatever illness or disease he or she is suffering from. During the aspect of nursing care, the nurse is an active advocate of the patient. Let's proceed to the strengths and weaknesses of Lydia Holt's model. For the strength, Lydia Holt's model appears to be completely and simply logical. The model, as you have observed, only has three subconcepts, which are the three interlocking circles. And these circles have distinct meanings that can be easily defined. The nurse is always present in all of the model circles. Let's move on to the weaknesses of the theory. First, it is only applicable to adult patients. Yes, Hall imposed an age requirement for the application of her theory, which is 16 years of age and above. This limits the theory since it cannot be disregarded that nurses are faced with pediatric clients every now and then. Second, the only tool of therapeutic communication Hall discussed is reflection. By inference, all other techniques of therapeutic communication are eliminated. Reflection is not always the most effective technique to be used. Third, the concept of a patient aggregate, such as having families and communities, as the focus of nursing practice was not tackled. It is purely on the individual himself. Fourth, this theory relates only to those who are ill. In the focus of nursing care in Hall's concepts, the individual must pass an acute stage of illness for you to successfully apply her theory. This indicates that no nursing contact with healthy individuals, families, or communities and it negates the concept of health maintenance and disease prevention. Finally, to summarize this theory, her work may be viewed as the philosophy of nursing. Lydia Hall used her knowledge of psychiatry and nursing experiences in the Loeb Center as a framework for formulating her model. Her model contains three independent but interconnected circles. The three circles are the core, the care, and the cure. Let's always remember or take note that the core is the patient. The cure refers to the medical and nursing interventions and the care is a nurturing provided by the nurse. Nursing functions in all three of the circles but shares them to different degrees with other disciplines. We'd like to end this presentation with one of our famous quotes, to care is to nurse and to nurse is to give yourself when you care. This theory emphasizes the importance of the total patient 
rather than looking at one part or aspect. Meaning that as a nurse, our role also includes educating patients and helping patients meet any needs he or she is unable to meet alone. Here's the source or reference for our presentation. That's it for our report. Thank you so much for listening. I hope that this presentation has given you a much clearer understanding of Lydia Hall's core care and cure model. If you have any clarifications, please feel free to contact us and raise your questions. Once again, thank you and God bless. Bye!